good morning modern steaders 38 degrees out this morning <laughs> beginning of september <sighs> it's a good day today to be finishing up the firewood shed because we're gonna be needing to burn that firewood before you know it good morning pigs Good morning. Don't worry, you don't need to get up or nothing. Just stay sleeping. Yeah, that's fine. It is a chilly morning. I don't blame you. Good morning, Figaro. If you're asking why there's a milking stand in the boys goat barn, yesterday we trimmed everybody's hoofs. We brought that milking stand over there, trimmed their hoofs. They did really well. I just figured we'd leave the milking stand in there to let them get more used to and familiar with a milking stand. I don't want to leave it in there much longer though. They're gonna start to get stinky pretty soon during the rut. Your milk production is down today. What's going on, huh? Thank you, girl. You ready, Tootie? Come on. There you go. No. Nope. You can't eat a plastic bag. Come on and hope. <sighs> Good morning, chickens. Ducks. Where's Moose hiding? Morning, Moose. Your feathers are doing a lot better now. Hurting out his ladies. No crow this morning, Moose? Come on. Where is it? We're waiting for it. Nothing. Let me show you all the wood I've got stacked. By myself, without Al's help. Let's see it. Ready? Ready? I did a good job. Right? I think so. Figaro, Figaro. Meow. Meow. Let's move this trim work out. Get everything set up and. We should have this finished today. <sighs> then we can start stacking the firewood, or continue stacking the firewood and get it filled up in here. What's this? Are these just leaves? Yes, they are. What are you up to, Figaro, huh? What are you up to? You want some pets? Come here. Yeah, come on in. Yes. There you go, you just want some loving? Some loving, loving. All right, let's find our trim work. It's in here somewhere. All right, uh, this two by will go on the side. Come up to me. Back down to you. Ah, right there. Hold on a minute. Ouch. All right, can you pick your end up? Down right there. Hold it. Bring it down. I'll 
push it up. Nice. Flush it up there, flush it up there. Uh, I don't think anything, I guess. I tricked you. While I'm right here, I'll put in the screws and the tin. be done with the roof on the yeah. side. Is that seat cold? It's cold. Oh, you want a heated seat for the tractor? <laughs> Gotta let the gold plug warm up for a minute. Alright. Let's get up on the roof. Kinda. Sorta. I like it. So we gotta get to the front, I guess, because we should have holes. One, two, right there. All right, let's go to the front of the roof, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe I can do this. Ah, I should still get to the front for the other one. And then maybe put one Right there, right there. I'll have to get on the roof for those ones. Yep. There we go. I like it. All right, let's get up on the roof and get those two screws put in while we are thinking about it. There we go, we'll scare Gina too. Ready? I hear her coming. I gotta do the same thing down there when I get there. Would you hurry up and just be done with it? What? Just get done with it. You love it. I don't. Now I gotta get back down. Slide right down this morning. Oh, I'm over. A little slick up there this morning. Let's do this other gable wall 2x4 trim next. So if we mark four inches. Right there, I'll put a screw. That'll hold the board for us. Hold your end up and let me know when you flush. Crush them daddy long legs. Bring it up. Right there. Nice and tight. 
tight. I like it. You got the pencil still? Perfect. All right. Trim up that cut, square it off, and then we can trim up the front and the back, and then we can do our corners. Oh, I think Gina finished the coffee. Yep. We got another one. Oops. Gina will be happy. I don't gotta get on the roof to finish up this side. Straighten off this cut. There. It's all these little finishing touches that finish off a project. I am guilty all the time of not completing them, but they make a world of difference. That might be what we want. Oops. All right, let's go. Oop. Two and a half wide by 66 and three. Minutes. Table saw is down in the barn. Let's go rip it. All right, we'll need Gina's hand for putting that up. So I guess while she's out collecting firewood, let's cut some more of our back siding. Let's 
get these in place. We need it 48, and we're gonna need four of them. Four of them at 48. Have a nasty bow in it. It's binding the blade. Olivia's been liking having this back hole open. She's not gonna be happy that we closed it in. That's for sure. Like so. There we go, flush it up. Slide that under there. She's going to need a love tab, I think. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh. Give me a hand for a minute. How far? Gotta go all the way. How far do I go? Gotta go up. <laughs> all right, right there. You have the same height. Oh, right. <laughs> What's that? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, you should be good. Oh, stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Sweet. 133 and 38. Just make sure your end is tight and the bottom is flush. You should be fine. I want to do some fancy trim work. I think we got it figured out. Nicely. 
Yep. On my corner trim, I like to use screws on the edge where the two pieces of trim come together. I find it helps pull the joint tight. There, I like that. nails in. Perfect. Trim up that corner a little bit down there and that's good. Let's do the same thing to the other side and then we'll go to the back and get the back all finished up. Got one more corner to do over there. I like it. Start out with just a couple of nails. There we go. I like it. I think that's all the trim work. What are you doing with them rocks? Oh my goodness. You're probably really good at building rock walls. Sure. What's that? You're probably really good at building rock walls. Nope. Probably are. Rock walls and I don't mix. You don't? Nope. Are you just saying that because you don't want to help me? Yep. <sighs> I don't like building rock walls. I built them when I was a kid. It wasn't fun. Really good at it. No, it wasn't fun.
How many? 16. 15. 14. See thirteen. Yep. So that was the closest. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Well, the firewood shed is done. Woohoo! Just in time. Now we get to finish stacking all the firewood in it. As you can see on the right hand side, right there, Gina is gung-ho for building her rock wall and then we get to do a finished grade of the driveway ah, i can't wait guys it's so nice to be able to have a lot of these buildings done before snow starts to fly believe it or not i bet you within another month we're going to be seeing snow flurries here i don't know if you caught it or not but when i was up on the roof in this video leaning over putting the screw in i could see my breath I'm like, yeah, that was a chilly morning. Oh, it's in no time at all. All of our leaves are going to be changing colors, guys. Winter time. Change of seasons, and it's been kicking my butt this week. Staying dark later in the morning and then getting dark earlier at night. It's been making me tired. I've been falling asleep on the couch at 8 p.m., guys. It's not like me. I'm sure it's happening to all of us. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.